I have a feeling that Xinjiang will just altogether fall to China. So that will force our hand against them. Which means I won't attack from Xinjiang. I will take these troops and send them over here to Burma. And then from Burma strike against China from the back. Just like we did against Germany. And force them to surrender quickly. It should be fairly efficient, I think. I have great hopes for it. Well, this is not going well though. How's it going airplane-wise? Well, it's not going well airplane-wise either. So, you know, I will have to take some, some of these fighters and uh, redirect them. There we go. And uh, where can I get some more fighters then? Here we have some 200 fighters. 200 fighters. Wait, 404 fighters. There we go. We could send them down here to Istanbul. And from Istanbul, they can be further removed to uh, like eastern Balkans where they can fight against the enemy. So that should give us some air superiority in this region and aid our troops in the coming battle. Or coming battles really. Romania is a fairly strong nation. All things considered. All things like to be fair. To be fair they are fairly strong. And here is Venezuela doing their caravan across the Middle East basically. Across the Middle East they go to reach China land. How brave of them. I like that the Mediterranean just covered in all of these things. Okay, here they lost a bunch of their navy. Can I get rid of it? Well, I can if I look at it. Let's see. We lost one carrier fighter and one destroyer and they lost most of their fleet beyond what they had already lost. And it was this battle at the same place. And it was this one where I actually lost a battleship. HMS Malaya. They lost 25 destroyers and 8 submarines, but still, I lost 13 destroyers as well. Hmm. So this wasn't a brilliant battle, but it had a really big navy for it. So there's been a lot of battles here with the Mediterranean fleet. They have done exquisite work, I must admit. And here's just a bunch of skirmishes, and here's the Russian fleet, I think. No, this is a Greek fleet. Yeah, it was a Greek fleet. It's a naval battle, well... More of the Greek fleet, more of the Italian fleet. Uh, there's just so many battles that's been waged over here. And there we go, almost done with all of them. Now we have destroy focus and a bunch of other things that got done at the same time. That we can focus our attention to. So here we go with central planning and... Well, the other one, I think it was over here. No, it wasn't. Was it over here then? Air support, maybe. Yeah, sure. Why not? And national focus can be now a convoy escort focus. Why the hell not? My standard response to most of these things, it seems. Mostly because it makes sense. It's a Danish navy. And uh, I suppose now you will want to have an you know, idea of where you're going. So maybe taking all of the coast of Finland will be... Uh, Decent idea. There we go. Let's take all of it. In fact, just take the entire border. There we go. And as soon as you can perform it, perform. You have some assistance coming up there. Romania is going ever, ever so smaller, but it's a, it's a slog and the Indian army is not really well equipped to handle it. Speaking of a slog, how's it going over here now in Xinjiang? Are they close to surrendering? In fact, they, they surrendered and we got some territory. Well, British Raj got some... I don't even know how this is distributed. Oh well, Burnham Montgomery, at least, will be reassigned to this front over here in the British Raj. Oh, we have even connected here, so I suppose this does not need to be here. But sure, they can be anyway. In fact, they could actually launch naval attacks. Oh, yeah. Should probably use the Hong Kong... VDF for it. So we will launch an attack on Haiku. Haiku. Yeah, Haiku. Do we even have a naval dominance over here? Well, there's been some battles with the... with the navy over here. Let's see. There we go as well. Pretty good. Pretty good. 
No, we don't actually have a navy that's around here. Yes, we do. Oh, what? I'm stupid. China fleet. Okay, so things are going pretty well. I mean, not too well, but pretty well. There's a nine ongoing battle. Now our fleet arrived. And they are retreating. The sons of bitches. Come back. Come back and fight. Against the proper enemy. We can invite the faction. Terra Mariana. Hmm. Shall we? Shall... Well, we gotta, we gotta invite Estonia. Terra Mariana. Sure. Join us. Latvia, do you want to join us, maybe? No? You don't, uh, don't have any inclination? And no inclination of such. Oh, well. And we will attack Italy. Oh, not Italy. What the hell? We will attack Finland, of course. And then after that, attack Sweden. And we have some loyal subjects. And some which are not. So, they're bloodthirsty the Estonians want to be part of the wars, and they will be allowed to do so. They will be allowed. And after, you know, Romania falls, if it falls <laughs> at this point, then this army will be relegated to Africa, where they will mop up, well, basically Portuguese Africa, and then move on to South Africa after that. And uh, while well, these troops will first attack Finland, then attack Sweden, and then go and take mainland Portugal. And we'll see where it goes from that. That should be too much of an issue, I'm pretty sure. I mean, we're just mopping up everything. Mopping up everything, and it's going really well. As well. And we can even walk through China. Which is pretty nice. I wonder how long it will take to move through China with 85 divisions. Seemingly quite a while. We should probably stay our hand for the moment and just wait. Uh, but we, what you shouldn't wait for is adding more stuff to produce because we're underutilizing our factories by quite a great deal here. I should probably add more spiteful production. Uh, add more spiteful and add more, I don't know, strategic bombers maybe? Yeah, add more strategic bombers. Sure. I mean, we have the resources for it. Why not produce more? Speaking of strategic bombers, how many do we have? We have, well, a lot of them. We have a lot of pretty much everything at this point. Now, did I research that? Close air support free. No, I did not. Tempest. And we have the Barracuda that we're gonna need as well, and the Lincoln. Lincoln is pretty fast to, to research as well. So after floating airfield, we will go for the Lincoln. That will be pretty nice. Pretty, pretty darn nice. And I like Burnham Montgomery just have to organize the invasion of China after just invading pretty much everyone else. He's been a busy man. A very busy man. What is not... Like, I'm so disappointed in the progress here in... Like, Bucharest is just open before you. You can just march over here and take it. Do I really need to do it for you? Seemingly, apparently. Okay, well, invade. They joined the Axis as well. Can't exactly blame them, but now the doom has approached. Finland will fall just like everyone else. And this is proper British division. British steel. British men. Trained in Britain for British purposes. Men from the Highlands. Men from the Nord North over here. Nor Yorkshire or whatever. Men from Wales and from Ireland. Even men from London. All fighting together. All fighting together. All trained together. All bred for a single purpose. To destroy the world of the Finnish. And Romanians. And everyone else. Actually, not the Romanians. Once again, that wasn't, uh, that's not the British. It's the Indians. And destroy the world of the Chinese, apparently. And the Japanese. And the Germans. And pretty much everyone else. So is it going here? This is a stalemate, if I've ever seen one. But at least there's a l bunch of Japanese divisions that are stuck over there. Are they still against China? Because that war seems to have tapered off quite quickly. Okay, so do you have... Some divisions are assigned to this invasion have not reached a start position yet. Alright, why not? Okay. Maybe because I didn't add a division to it. It's a bit silly. And then after that, we can just island hop and take everything. 
let's make preparations for the invasion of mainland mainland Japan I would like if we um, maybe we should take stuff like Okinawa and then we can build some radar stations to get to know what's happening in Japan proper it would be useful wait is this is this for real do they really have that many divisions there because then I made a mistake all right then I did I just made such a, such a mistake ignore me please do ignore me that was uh, that was bad it was really bad um, well apparently the road to Bucharest was not open and in fact was closed pretty quickly but holy shit they are holding their ground pretty strong Wait, is this really British Empire? Because this color is different. Russia controls this location. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Why is Russia controlling that territory? Is it because they have claims on it or something like that? Yes, they do. So I hate this foreign claims thing that kind of messes up. The same thing here, Russia suddenly. I suppose it doesn't really matter since they need to take it in. In the peace deals. And we will dominate the peace deals or see them all get shot thinking of like we could probably make an invasion of wait how's it going from Mexico well Mexico is well they are by one day independence guaranteed by United States but if we could invite them to the faction which is not happening then we could station troops along the Mexican border and then invade the United States from that direction that would be pretty nice but first we need to handle everything else and we also need to definitely defeat the Japanese because they are a pain, a real, real pain. So I have two divisions here. What Hong Wan is the Hong Kong, Hong Kong thing. So they will be added around here, around these parts. So the Hong Kong is back. Hong Kong division is back. We need to take Haiko somehow. We need to take Haiko. The problem is if we take it, then we we'll probably just revert to revert to China. So maybe we should go for. Try an invasion of Taiwan. Perhaps we should do that. Okay, so I will do with four divisions this time. Hopefully we'll do a lot better than previously. Though, that's just maybe hoping for too much. And do an invasion of these provinces. Yeah, that should be pretty pretty well. Do pretty good. I think it will do pretty good. There we go. Start working on it, and when you're done, invade. Only 14 days. I wonder why. I wonder why so little. Well, I won't complain about it. It's very nice. And I wonder what happened to the Japanese wheat. Why, are they, why aren't they challenging us in their own territory? Because if I just added a like, convoy hunting, we could pretty much sink every single convoy going from mainland... What should you call mainland uh, China? No, not China, but... Like these, these possessions over here and the homeland, you could cut off the axis. Which could be rather successful, I think. Well, at least Finland now is rapidly decreasing in size. Which is good for me, bad for them. Again, pretty much everything that's good for me is bad for them. But why is not things happening here more quickly? Holy shit. Holy, they are really strong. I'm impressed. They are besting my Indian army. I should have sent more capable men for it, I suppose. Oh well, Baron of Montgomery. It's time to prove your mettle. By invading China. And taking it all out. So we should probably start making a war goal for China. It will only take 10 days and we will make them our mortal enemy. Which is fine. They took they took Hong Kong. That's all the pretext I need for an invasion. They took Hong Kong and we should probably send them some fighters to help out. Do I have any fighter 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 squadrons available here? We do have two, two 400 fighters in total. They could be sent to... Where should you do? 
where should he go? Oh, there we go. CM. CM is offering an air airbase. That's positioned rather nicely for this. So there we go. It will be in Siam. And then it will be sent to southern southern China. Where they will have the mission to dominate. So 400 fighters should be enough. How many does China have in total? I don't think they have a many. I don't think they have many at all. Well, they do actually have a lot. I was surprised. At least a thousand, thousand different airplanes. But that could be of all types. They could be outdated models, for all I know. Well, over here I'm seeing a nice little corridor breaking up. Or created here, a pocket. We could see the demise of at least three different Romanian divisions. If it works out as well as I plan or hope. But I should take this long and need manual help here basically to just take out the Romanian forces it is a testament for the incompetence of this army. Oh god, look at her losing over here. There they're losing and here it's going somewhat okay but it's just only three divisions in total that they're, they are fighting with and they're still almost breaking everything I have. So how many divisions do Estonia have? Eight divisions they want to send to help me out. Holy shit. I have 11 in total. I'm impressed. Really impressed. You gotta say. All credit to Estonia. That's pretty much their entire population in divisions. Depending on how large the divisions is, for that matter. Which necessarily... Not necessarily that big. To be honest, you could have divisions that are extremely small and still seem like they're very important. Uh, I still have 2,000 airplanes to replace over here in this... Like how many airplanes am I building right now in fighters? 15! That's a pretty nice jump in production. 15 fighters per day. That's nothing to sneeze at. And this is 1944, so we can produce a lot of airplanes very quickly. Which is very nice. Mm -hmm.